We're back with antiques appraiser Dr. Lori, and I figured out why David's pulling ahead, Dr. Lori. He's using my okay. marker. I, normally, oh, that's why. we have a blue marker and a red marker, and somehow today we have swap markers. So that's what's going on here. That's what's mm -hmm. off today. Yeah. Sometimes that, that, it's off, you know. That's what Heather is saying, <laughs> at least. All right, Blaming so it on that. We want to get started, and we have a painting sent in by Amy, Dr. Lori. This painting is a rather large oil on canvas. It's framed, and you can see it's, done, it's a very nice frame by an artist named Paul Grimm, who's a California artist, far from Pittsburgh. Um, he's active in the early years of the 1900s. He lives between 1891 and 1974. It's signed at lower left, and you can see that it's a lovely mountain landscape painting in the artist's mature and characteristic style. Now, for uh, our area, I mean, I don't, I don't know of this particular artist, but in right in that realm, is he well known? He's well known. He's well known in California, um, you know. Uh, but very, very nice display. And what I like about that that work of art is I like the peaks and valleys, and oh, it actually so was something that was introduced by Rembrandt to give you sort of times when your eye will be excited and times when your eye will rest, sort of that up and down flow. If you look at the two paintings that are here on the set here in my studio, yes. you can see that there are peaks and valleys on these as well. So, you know, the up and down that will make your eye sort of get attracted and then rest. So it's a very nice work of art. He's an obvious trained artist. And you notice I said it's his characteristic and mature style. It's the type of painting that he's known for. And it, this is the an original painting. This is not a print. Yes, yes okay. not a print. Original painting, oil on canvas. Okay. All right. Hmm. I just I just joked in the commercial break that my next <laughs> guess was going to be forty thousand dollars. <laughs> I won't I won't do quite that high, but I did run out of room. Okay. Here. All right. I went twenty five hundred. I went fourteen hundred. It's worth seventy five hundred dollars. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. So that's seven thousand five hundred dollars. That's that would, right, Heather. Seven thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> Maybe I should have friend. guessed forty thousand. No. I, okay, but I'm still no, closer. That point goes to you. Wow! Great wow. piece by Mary, right? Amy. Nice, Amy sent huh? it in. Yeah. That's awesome. PTL gave Mary a very nice appraisal. This was good of you to show Mary uh, that. Oh, what no, was it, Mary? Amy, was sorry, Amy. I, I screwed Amy. it all up. Amy. Um, Amy. Okay, so up next, hoping the best for Regina here with a sterling pin. Well, I love jewelry. David, I love jewelry, David. <laughs> okay, so, I, I hear you loud and clear, Dr. Lori. <laughs> you're in so, trouble. So does Heather. So does Heather. Uh, Heather okay. Loves jewelry, so does Jill. Okay, sterling silver <laughs> pin. It's clearly marked. It's a flower form. It's got that little bit of wire at the bottom. You see that little bit of wire? Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of a nice little detail, but this is a nice cast sterling silver piece. Um, a pretty good size. It's a brooch, not a pin, really. Okay. It's a brooch. If it's a little bit bigger, it's a brooch. Interesting. And and uh, yeah. is this made by, I, I, I missed it if you said, no, a particular it's not artist? it's a particular great designer. It's not like it's an Elsa Peretti for Tiffany or, or a Cartier. It's, it's, a, it's a sterling silver pin. Is a brooch. It Art, brooch. From America? Yes. Okay. Speaking of that, is that a Tiffany box on your table, Dr. Lori? There are two Tiffany boxes on my table, That's girl. That's what I thought. <laughs> I saw that blue. Uh, did you guess? Right. Uh, I, no, I'm, st I'm stymied. Now David um, knows where to buy our jewelry, Heather. You gave him a very good tip there. <laughs> what was it? Oh, with the blue box? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know Tiffany's. Oh, yeah. I, 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 Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right, Dr. Lori. <laughs> I went $75. Oh, see, I went oh. higher than that because I, I was inspired by the last one, $400. $200. Oh, okay. okay. I got the point. You got the point. We're, we're tied, tied up, we're and tied. we're going to have one last item to look at, and it's from Kathy, and it's an elephant tea set. I'm so intrigued by this. Look at that. Okay, this is not for tea, kids. This is for sake. Sake, sake, sake. Oh, oh. even better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's the decanter with, of course, the sake set made in Japan in the middle part of the 1900s. And what this is, is after World War II, you see these luster wear, that's that nice sort of um, color, and that luster wear, that sheen on the set, um, coming into the American market so we can help to support the Japanese in their rebuilding effort after World War II. 
I, I am mm. picturing Kathy now serving a nice Earl Grey out of this when really it should have been sake all along, <laughs> which is so <laughs> fun yeah. to think about. <laughs> and she has the complete set, even though there are only five cups. That's correct. She's supposed to only have five cups. Okay, perfect. This have been, this, so this would have been widely sold in America because it was, it was to try to help after the war, right? That's right. That's right. So they would be made in, during, in occupied Japan during the occupation time period in ceramic factories and sold to the Americans and the Western market. And the idea was to try to, of course, generate funds so they could rebuild after, of course, the dropping of the atomic bomb. This is a really nice set and really nice cool. Set. Yeah. And elephants are good luck, right, with their yeah. trunks up. My mom used to collect elephants, so we had a lot of trunks up in the house. <laughs> Okay. Gosh, I just I don't, don't know. It all comes down to this, too. No pressure, Heather, but it all comes down to I'm this. I'm never stymied, like David says, but today I am. <laughs> You're stymied. All right, show us. 25. I guess 200. $175 for the set. David, and I with pull the out win. A win. It's that red <laughs> marker. You better give that back. All right, I'll give, I'll give back the red <laughs> marker. Probably the red marker. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lori. We always learn so much when we talk with you. Thanks so much. Thanks for sending in your pictures. We appreciate it. Oh, it's so much fun. And I really did learn so much this week. We had some really unique, Very cool unique. items. Yeah, and I yeah. learned jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. <laughs> That's what I learned. Box, jewelry, <laughs> got it, check. <laughs> all right, hey, thanks to all of you for sending us your photos. And maybe your photo will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. So stay tuned.